Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to discuss about two very important topic and it is important as per oral point of view and it is also important because I uh, saw a lot of confusion uh, regarding uh, in people uh, regarding these two topics and in people's mind and that is regarding the certificates okay what all certificates uh, the ship is supposed to carry what is a trading certificate what is an obligatory certificate what is a statutory certificate and what is a mandatory certificate difference between statutory and mandatory certificate which all certificate will be under statutory and which all certificates will be come under mandatory so i saw a lot of confusion so that's the reason why i thought that let me uh, introduce to you these uh, these topics in a very crisp and um, with a better understanding okay so when we talk about the uh, certificates see uh, whenever like it is not the ship is said to be dead when it is uh, when it uh, the engine is not running ship is in fact dead when they don't have certificates okay because it can't sail the ship can't sail any in you need to understand the gravity and you need to understand the importance of certificate and it comes with that the any insurance that becomes null and void if your certificate is not at all um, uh, if your certificate has expired and if it is not valid okay so that is the reason why it is very important to uh, know what all certificates are uh, mandatory and what all uh, original certificates that are needs to be present on board that is also uh, uh, very important so without any further ado let's begin the topic so when we talk about statutory and mandatory certificates so remember the statutory and mandatory they combinedly together are known as trading certificate okay i hope it is clear statutory and mandatory both together are known as trading certificate why because these are the certificates that will allow a ship to sail okay now next when we come about when we talk about mandatory certificate then mandatory certificate the other name for mandatory certificate is obligatory certificate means these are sometime obliged like this is obligatory okay now when uh, when we look at the definition for statutory certificate then statutory certificate are required by the statute statute means law so these are the certificates that are required by the law now when we talk about mandatory certificates as per the name suggests are mandatory to carry on board so these are mandatory to carry on board these are required by the law so first difference you need to understand i'll make it very clear uh, in further discussion okay so first of all you need to know this is required by the statute that is by the law and this is required this is mandatory to carry on board now now if we sail a ship without a statutory certificate that is the one which is required by the law that means we are breaking the law and like any other thing breaking law that is a criminal offense okay now when we talk about if we sail a ship without a mandatory certificate we are not breaking the law to ab hum law break nahi kare why it is mandatory then we may not be allowed to enter into certain port and certain area okay but but as these certificates are mandatory we may not be allowed to enter the port limit of a country or we may not be allowed to start the cargo operation because we don't have these mandatory certificate see statutory certificate law ab law kaun sa ho gaya just suppose that the flag state the flag that the country that the ship is flying the flag of the country that the ship is flying now any convention that is taken into count that is made law by that country whose flag the ship is flying that will become statutory certificate for that ship now opa 90 for example opa 90 is not made law in india for the ship which is flying the flag of like uh, take example of great eastern so many vessels they are flying indian flag so those ships OPA 90 is not statutory because in Indian constitution in Indian parliament this OPA 90 is not taken account but the same ship when it goes to the US water OPA 90 becomes mandatory why because OPA 90 is required by US law so the ship will not be allowed to enter into US water until and unless it has fulfilled all the criteria for the OPA 90 okay 
So I hope it is clear for you. Now, we may not be allowed to enter the port limit. Statutory and mandatory certificate together are called trading certificate. I have already said a ship need to follow the law of the flag state whose flag it is flying. That is the law of the country where the ship is registered. Any international convention is not a law. It becomes the law only when a country adopts the convention by ratification or association process. There are tactics, uh, acceptance. Uh, for ratification, there are different, different methods. That is when a country incorporates the convention into its local law. Okay, now uh, it will not be clear. I'll, I'll take an example. Now take an example of a solace. It's very common. Safety of life at sea, 1973 and 78. So now this solace convention, it becomes uh, almost 99% of world tonnage has already accepted the SOLAS convention. Take in a case an example of 1% people who have not uh, ratified the SOLAS convention. So if I am an individual, I'm flying on a, uh, I'm going onto a ship which is registered under SOLAS convention. So then what happens? Uh, sorry, which is not registered under SOLAS convention. So all the certificates which comes under SOLAS convention that becomes mandatory because I'll not be allowed to enter almost 99% of the country okay because everyone has accepted solas convention but for my ship it is not statutory certificate because my ship has not uh, my country has my ship my country my flag state has not uh, ratified that solas convention okay so this is the example uh, for it is so it is mandatory but it is not statutory now, statutory certificates are required by the law. The only law a ship need to follow is the law of the country where it is registered. Mandatory certificates are not required by the law but are mandatory for international trading. So, statutory certificate aapko samaj mein aagya. Statutory certificate simple hai. Flag state ke requirement ke hisaab se flag state ka requirement kaun tay karega? Jo local country tay karegi. Local country kaise tay karegi? Jo local country waise tay karegi ki local country mein kaun kaun se law applicable hai. Ab wo law kaha se aare? International shipping se hi aare na actually. Aur kuch extra bhi ho sakte hai. Isse Solas Convention, Marpol Convention. Ye sab international convention se hi aaye hai. Lekin phir local law, local body usko ratify karti hai. Local parliament se pass karke then it becomes a law for that country. Country. So all the ship flying the flag of those country will have to take into count of all those certificates. So वो सारे क्या हो जाएंगे? जो flag state का requirement होगा जो इतने certificates वो सारा आपका statutory certificate होगा. लेकिन जो दूस जो flag state के अलावा but कोई दूसरे flag state या दूसरे country का requirement है वो क्या हो जाएगा? Mandatory certificate हो जाएगा. मतलब आप law break नहीं करोगे लेकिन अगर उस country उस country में जाओगे तो आपको entry नहीं मिलेगी. So that is the mandatory certificate. So uh, now we will be discussing about statutory certificate, some of uh, the statutory certificate that is certificate of registry. Okay. Now there are some, uh, there are certain certificates which fall under SOLAS convention and I told you that already 99% have ratified SOLAS convention. So it is statutory in all together, whatever certificates that fall under SOLAS convention that is minimum safe manning certificate, international ship safety equipment certificate, international ship construction certificate, international ship safety radio certificate, safety management system certificate. Now when we talk about MAPOL convention, so certificates as per MAPOL convention, international oil pollution prevention certificate, international sewage pollution prevention certificate, international air pollution prevention certificate, these all are statutory certificate, remember it. Certificate as per load line convention, international load line certificate. Okay. So certificate of class that is also under load line convention. Now when we talk about mandatory certificate that is also known as obligatory certificate, certificate of entry of P and I club that is mandatory certificate. There are some other there is a third class also that is non mandatory certificate that is garbage management certificate that is not required. Okay, but we can have it certificate which are required for trading purpose. Ships registry certificate is a mandatory certificate. However, Indian ships it is statutory certificate okay so this is required by the law so the law of the local country or the flag where it is registered for a particular vessel it will differ statutory certificate and a mandatory certificate so it will not be like a common globe thing okay it's common for everything these are statutory but these are mandatory no it can vary from country to country so I, as i said opa 90 is a statutory certificate for ships transiting in u.s water but mandatory for other ships Okay, because uh, it will not, if, if a ship doesn't has uh, OPA 90 certificate that it doesn't mean that it is breaking the law. Okay, because he, uh, Panama flag, sorry, uh, take an Indian flag vessel. 
uh, it doesn't has OPA 90 certificate. That doesn't mean that it is breaking the law. It will not be a criminal offense. But it, if we want to enter the uh, U.S. water or U.S. allied uh, 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 islands, so uh, those places it will not be uh, allowed to enter. Okay, so that is the reason why it is uh, there. So I hope the difference it is clear for you. Thank you so much.